not. Uh, I had an opportunity to um, get an opportunity to partner with a league called the Women National Developmental League, and then initial WNDL. And they have been working the last three years very hard, 2017, 2018, to become the affiliate for the WNBA, similar to what the G League is for the NBA for men. So they've expanded some opportunities and teams to grow from three teams out of the New York and Connecticut area. And now we've expanded to eight teams across the country. Um, we are part of that. So we've got uh, Connecticut, the team is in New York, uh, Philadelphia, DC, Atlanta, Charlotte, Nashville, Tennessee, and Milwaukee. So I'll be coming close to home when we come play in Milwaukee, let you know, maybe get some people up in that game for me. Um, and Mark Baldwin, CEO, had a great idea and vision a while back uh, to eliminate a lot of our young women who graduate and don't get the opportunity to go to the WNBA. Uh, mm -hmm. Women are different than men and, and the fact that uh, they will just continue their education, uh, majority of them. Uh, it's over 125 to about 150,000 women each year that graduate that don't make it to the WNBA. So the ones who do want to continue their playing opportunity end up overseas. Uh, and then when the pandemic hit, obviously that set a lot of stuff down, kind of changed the mindset, kind of changed the way we think and how we kind of you know, kind of react. So the, w, the WNDL, says, hey, instead of sending these young women overseas, let's do something at home so that we show the women that you are important. You graduate just like the men have created this secondary league in the G League. We want to do the same thing and give you an opportunity to stay, play professional ball, and do it in the United States. Okay. That was a long, that was a long uh, answer to a quick... <laughs> To, to a quick thing. I haven't officially started, but you <laughs>